Guys, make sure you're following us on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. It massively helps us out. Enjoy the episode. So for me, Steven Gerrard makes my team no questions asked. And I'm actually, I know... I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to bash Gerrard, by the way. He just doesn't make my That's fair enough. That's 11. Fair. And also, as an Arsenal fan, people might be a bit shocked that I'm not putting Vieira in. Yeah, I, I thought he would be like... No. Top for me, few. I know people have said, oh, you can't play them together and whatnot, but I would go... Um, That's definitely not annoying. <laughs> yeah, I would go, I want Lampard and Gerrard in my all-time 11. Okay. So I'm going those two. Left midfield. Oh, so you have just copied Lampard after ri- ribbing me for oh, no, you I never said me for not putting Gerrard in. Yeah. I oh, never... so you're basically saying that because I didn't pick Gerrard over Vieira, I'm a terrible human, but we're actually both Arsenal fans, and you exactly that. Pick Patrick Vieira. Yes, anyway. exactly right, that. Cool. So I'm going Lampard and Gerrard. I'm also going to go with Ryan Giggs. <laughs> okay. And that's not be- not building a Man United team here. I promise. Yeah, but why? He's won 13 Premier League medals. He. Was playing yeah, when he I was didn't say, forty years old. If I didn't old, say that, would you have known? That? I was putting Ryan Giggs straight in. Okay, he's playing when he's forty. <clears throat> he managed to change his game and still start for United. He had, like he changed up his game. Obviously, when he got older, he's lost his pace, so he had to adapt his game to st- to, to be playing football uh, at Lampard, the highest level. Lampard's fifth, by the way, all-time goal scorer. That's yeah. his joke. To be playing football at the standard Giggs was playing at age forty mm. is berserk. Bear in mind, we're looking at Ronaldo. Look how much we're saying, oh, Ronaldo, top of the game for United at age 36 or 37. Is he 37? 36. He's still got another four years to match Giggsy. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like that's, for me, I think that's to, to have the longevity that Ryan Giggs had. Mm. Uh, you obviously take away his personal life and whatnot. But in terms of his playing ability, unbelievable. And then you look at these early days, he was one of the best dribblers on the, on the ball. He was one of the best dribblers by far, wasn't he? Like he, his, the goal he scored against Arsenal when he just dribbled through and took his shirt off and the, that hairy chest <laughs> yeah. was obscene. So you're putting Ryan Giggs because he's put, got a hairy chest. Yes, exactly. All right, cool. Who, who are you going left side? Cristiano Ronaldo. Yeah, that's a good shout, that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no. Yeah. I don't think anything needs to be spoken about that, really. <laughs> no, Ronaldo's going on my right side. He's not on right winger. Yeah, but I'm fitting them in. I can, I can. No, f- you can't. You can't just, mate. I'm putting him out. I'm sorry. I right, will put him up front then. All right. Well, no, that takes I'm not putting him up front. <laughs> that takes on I'm putting him on the right. Mate, I can play anyone where I want to play them. Yeah, pre- Premier early Premier League Ronaldo is probably one of the best footballers I've ever seen. Yes. Like, in, in, in terms of just like entertainment value, so much just, fun to watch. Yeah, and not just, only just that, so good as well. Like the goals he scored, the just sheer, just mate, some sheer f- confidence in his ability as well. Like to know that what he was about to produce, he's yeah. the only person that sees that happen. I'd and also, everyone else goes, what's he, what's he going to do here? But he already knows. Would you not agree as well? The knuckleball, people are probably doing it before Cristiano, yeah. but he turned the knuckleball into a mainstream thing to do. Yeah. Not like, he sort of like reinvented the knuckleball. Yeah. I know what you're trying to... up what you're putting down. He designed his own free kick. Yeah. Think how many kids or whoever now stand behind a free kick like this with their arms out. Go, see. <laughs> <laughs> Before they, go, they kick they go, it. They go, see. They give themselves a little see compliment. <laughs> see. And do that. Like he, he, he paved the way for a future generation. That's what I would say, yeah. So... He, he definitely revolutionised... Uh, football uh or sorry um playing the playing style of how wingers in the premier league were especially in that era like i feel like him and gerard like both of them just scored only amazing goals do you know what yeah. i mean yeah. they only scored worldies yeah so i'm actually one player ahead of you i've gone gigs and ronaldo on the wings oh so you've put ronaldo in anyway yep I just, it's, it's another play that you just got taken Mate, from my eleven. Obvious. How could you say that? It's Ronaldo. Oh, well, you. Speaking of Ronaldo. Yep. He's just come out and said he put on his he put on Instagram. Said a lot of a lot of love on this post. He said this will be my last ever tournament, international tournament with Portugal. World Cup. If they make it. Right. Because they lost to Serbia on like the ninetieth minute. So how how many points do they need to qualify? They go. They they have to go through the playoffs. Really. They have to go through playoffs, which is going to be tough. I don't um, know who, unlike us, who will qualify if we get a draw against San Marino tonight? Yeah. Oh, one point. Oh, imagine, one point. imagine we lose to San Marino. It's, yes, I, I, that's a tough beat. But mate, this is the, this is the thing I was going to say. We are now in the era of the retirement era. Right now, for the for the yeah. for our idols, growing I think up, yeah. I think if 
I want to see Ronaldo at the World Cup. I, I want Portugal to qualify through the playoffs. Like, you could see it on his face how devastated he was because he knows this is his, like, last, his last dance. It's his last dance in yep. terms of playing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So I, I think it'll be for, for, for football having Ronaldo and Portugal at the World Cup. It'll be but a good send-off. But never say never because obviously Zlatan retired and then now he's back. I know, but... How how long can Ronaldo carry that Portugal yeah, team? Yeah, but what, you, what you've got to realize—they are a new generation coming through. To be fair, it is true. But what what you've also got to realize is if stuff goes ahead and there's like World Cups every two years, would he be would he be like, oh, you know, what, I fancy this one this time? Yeah, yeah I don't agree I'm with only that. I don't agree with that World Cup every two two years. But we don't know if it's going to happen. Or I don't right, think it so. will happen. I personally don't think it will happen. Okay. I think it will take away the how special the World Cup is. Mm-hmm. Like imagine you had a World Cup every year. It's just, it's not the same. It's every no, I know. Yeah, there's the rarest. And also, when would it. you have the Euros? Because every it's every two years, isn't it? Euro World Cup, Euro World Cup. So having a World Cup every two years, like when do you fit the Euros in every three? How does that work out? Well, no, it'd be the other years, wouldn't it? it? It's just too confusing, buddy. It's just too confusing. I don't know how it'd work. Arsene Wenger's lost the plot with this one because he's the one pushing for it, isn't he? Kind of, but also. Yeah, well, yeah, he is. Yeah. Because a lot of stuff he comes out with is good, but this I'm, I don't agree with it. But yeah, Ronaldo. It's uh, because he wants people to view more football. He's he's try, he's an advocate of football as a sport, right? Mm. And if he's trying to push the biggest international tournament to everyone more regularly, then there's obviously going to be more eyes on football. I think there's already enough football. I mean, look at the likes of bloody like <laughs> Pedri. The, right. poor, the poor kid's almost died. Like he's playing so much football. <laughs> like, but it's true. It's true. He's going to be burnt out by the time he's twenty. Yeah. Like and that's another thing. Spain rebuilding. They are their new generation is coming through. I feel like ever since they did like the was it the double of the Euros? Was it a triple? Was it World Cup Euros World Cup? Was it just World Cup Euros they won? Was it three in a row or two in a row? Two in a row. Wasn't two it? in a row, wasn't it? Yeah. I don't yeah. know. But they're You're dream- talking about Iniesta. Uh, Iniesta yeah, the dream team, then- the, the God Squad, the Spanish yeah. God Squad. They sort of went through like the last ten years. They sort of went through like a like their team wasn't really like. It's sort of just like, what is this Spain team? You're not really sure. Yeah. Whereas now they've got these new youngsters coming through, you know, Gavi, Pedri. Um, Any more? Yeah, so I know so many more of the <laughs> Spanish team. But it's true, like, they are, they've are. they just qualified yeah, for the I World feel, Cup. I feel like in, in football, you always get waves of youth yeah. and then experience. And uh, certainly, like, in England now, it's it's the average age is a lot lower than... The new wave are coming through. That's what I mean, yeah. So, I mean, in Spain, they're even younger than the England squad. Mm. And they're still just well. The England squad is the under seventeen World Cup winners coming through now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's what it is. Like yeah. Arsenal's average age. Certainly now that ESR's playing as well. Exactly, he's now in the team. Yeah. Arsenal's average age is the youngest in the entire Prem. Yeah. In terms of starting lineups. What's that got to do with? I, don't know, I just like the fact that Arsenal are doing oh, that. Right. Yeah, okay. It's quite cool, and most of them are English as well. Like it's quite exciting to see all these youngsters playing. Yeah. 